Fox 61 and Yukon Health remind you to make a difference and keep Connecticut safe. Please wear a face mask when out in public, wash your hands frequently, and practice social distancing. This message is sponsored by Yukon Health. All local, all morning. The Fox 61 Morning News starts now. Connecticut and other parts saw some pretty severe weather. In fact, at this hour, still tens of thousands of people in our state don't have electricity. We're also getting a closer look at the impact of Hurricane Laura on the south. Parts of Louisiana have been destroyed and are still underwater. Also, the Republican National Convention is in the book and the president is getting right back onto the campaign trail. We'll have more on his speech last night. Good morning, everybody. This is the Fox 61 Morning News at 7 o'clock. I'm Tim Lammers. Well, Connecticut has had its fair share of bad weather lately, especially with Tropical Storm SIES, and yet we got more of it yesterday, and the cleanup is beginning. Uh, before we get to that, though, uh, let's take a look at uh, how things looked out there earlier today. Very foggy. But that's not going to last, as meteorologist Matt Scott will tell you. We're looking okay for the rest of the day. That's right. Uh, today, once we burn off the clouds, I think we're looking for a decent amount of sunshine, Tim. Good morning to you at 7 o'clock. Not a lot to worry about today, which is good. We got some cleanup time after your last night's storms, which are uh, just decimated parts of, the, parts of the state. Here's what you need to know. It is a quieter post-storm. Uh, which is nothing to worry about. Uh, sunshine, warmer temperatures coming out later on, getting into the lower to mid 80s. The weekend has the remains of Laura coming up this way, bringing us some more rain tomorrow, but uh, not washing out the whole weekend. We'll talk about that coming up. Here's a look at the 7 o'clock number, 64 in Hartford. 73, that's a big difference in New Haven. You can tell uh, who's socked in with clouds and who isn't. The dew points high on the shoreline, much lower, much drier inland, down to 59 up at Windsor Locks. Here's your visibility currently right now. It's not great on the eastern side of the state. goes up to five miles uh, for visibility on the shoreline. So uh, Hartford at about a mile and a half visibility. You're going to have to give yourself some extra time on the way into work, wherever it is you're going. Cloud and radar picture now is quiet, but uh, the last 12 hours it certainly was not. That front down to the south and uh, really being replaced by nothing for today. Clouds now. Winds out of the west and northwest uh, getting into the 80s uh, by about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We'll see a lot more sunshine in the afternoon compared to what we have out through now but uh overnight tonight the clouds return by tomorrow morning the rain returns we'll talk about that how potent it's going to be and what the weekend has in store for you stand by forecast coming up just a couple of minutes tim well matt thank you so much 703 we want to show you some wild video from hamden now normally you can't see the wind but when it's covering <laughs> coming with peels of rain it makes it a lot more evident you can just see it blowing over an apartment complex uh, it certainly looked like a tropical storm out there. Over in Morris, trees became snarled in wires. Utility, crew, utility crews tried to get out in front of the storm's path. Uh, this was the scene on I-84 towards Waterbury yesterday afternoon. Our photojournalist Freddie Mathis catching some of this. Downpours pelting drivers on the highway, causing them to hit the brakes during rush hour. We're also getting a look at some storm damage video from New Milford as rain and hail came down by the bucket loads and that's just some of what we saw yesterday there was also significant damage in parts of the state uh, that we're getting an idea of today this morning in fact governor lamont's going to be joined by the national guard to tour some of the hardest hit areas fox 61's gabby molina is continuing our live team weather coverage from the fox 61 storm tracker she spent part of the morning in north haven gabby where are you now Tim, we made our way over just right over the town line to Hamden. We just mentioned another pretty hard hit area, and there are a number of roads closed here. But I want to give you a look at some of the damage that we're seeing here. Uh, this is along Glen Ridge Road. It's a residential neighborhood here in Hamden.